Hello, it's Sarah from Hardcover Hearts, and I'm back again. This is my second part for November. Uh, there's just a lot going on in November. I'm so excited, and especially with a little bit of a holiday for Thanksgiving in there, I think there's an opportunity to really read a ton of great material. So I did a video for Nonfiction November. Uh, hopefully that went up first. This will be the second one that goes up. And this is for Novella November. So no, I absolutely adore novellas. I've said before that short stories, I'm, I'm trying to find my way to them. I'm starting to, to, to get my feet, my feet under me. I'm starting to appreciate them more than I ever have. Thank you, booktube. Uh, but novellas, now there's something that I have, I, I will stand behind and I, and a good novella is just magic. So I have a bunch here that I'd like to talk through as potentials. And you'll see that I've been collecting quite a few of these. These are my, my own collection. And uh, we'll see what, what, we, what we end up reading. But let me start with one that I just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do a buddy read. It was just decided. Uh, we talked about this earlier, but we just defined, said, yes, absolutely, we're going to do it. And this is, I'm going to read this with Celia. Uh, this is A Single Man by Christopher Isherwood. Now, first off, give me a break about that, that cover. Is that not stunningly gorgeous? So beautiful. I've been wanting to read this for so long. I saw the Tom Ford movie, fell in love with it, but I really want to read the, the novella. This will get read in November, without a doubt. Everything else is kind of, we'll see. So the next one is, uh, is a wild card. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Uh, this is Clarice Lispector's The Hour of the Star. I'm interested in trying it. I hear it's a little experimental and I don't always do well with experimental. Um, and I don't know yet what my hook into experimental, is, experimental fiction really is. Uh, there's some that I absolutely, that blow my mind and then others that just make me uncomfortable. Uh, I'm not sure how, how this one's going to go, obviously, because I haven't read it yet. But what interests me about this is two things. The, the introduction is by Col Colm Tobin, and the translation is by Benjamin Moser. So I really, there have been some, some books that Colm Tobin has done that I have found beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. And I just heard Benjamin Moser in conversation with Rebecca Solnit because he just wrote the biography of, of uh, Susan Sontag, called Sontag. So th there's some interesting uh, backing behind this. So maybe, we'll see, maybe. Um, kind of looking through here. This looks like just a fun little, little sliver of a read. It's called The Library of Unrequited Love by Sophie DeVry, and it just looks fun. It's, uh, someone says, we're in Anita Bruckner territory here. It sounds, it sounds like a delightful little uh, palate cleanser, if you, if you will. So this one might get red. Um, I have Red Lights by Simonon, and this is, has an introduction by Anita Bruckner. I mean, really, it's, I did not plan that. I didn't plan that at all. That is an absolute uh, serendipitous moment that you just witnessed. That Anita Bruckner is is listed here and then has actually did the the introduction here. That's remarkable. So I've heard that this is really good. It's set in America, which is interesting because I always think of him as a Paris crime writer. But I hear this is really good, so that could be something. Uh, this one I bought with uh, at the BookTube Prize meetup. Uh, Jacqueline from Six Minutes From Me, I'll link to her channel below. She said that she thinks that I would love this. And look at that cover. It's just stunning. I'm really starting to be interested in the Europa editions and the New York uh, Review of Books editions. I, I, they just have not been on my radar uh, previously, but they're starting to, to appear. And speaking of, here's another... Another uh, New York review of book books. Uh, this is Basic Black with Pearls by Helen Wiswig, uh, and I just think that looks gorgeous. We'll see. We'll see what that's like. I have this tiny little sliver of a book. This is Willa Cather's My Mortal Enemy. Now I absolutely adored Death. Uh, Death comes to the Archbishop that she did. I thought it was 
so beautiful and so vast and so thoughtful. I read the, um, the housekeeper and the professor, or no, that's not what it's called. I read another one of hers. I'll put it, uh, I'll, I'll put the link of what it was below. Uh, and it was okay. It was, it was, it was okay. So I'm hoping to kind of get back on the Willa Hather is amazing train with this one. And then lastly, this is just such a sweet little, little, uh, little book. It's Lena Devani's Seven Lives and One Great Love, Memoirs of a Cat. Another Europa edition. So this looks like another perfect palette cleanser. So as you can see, I have a lot of novellas that, that, make the, that make the cut here. So I'm curious, are you gonna participate in novella November? Do you have any novellas that you particularly have been wanting to read and you haven't gotten around to them yet? Uh, are you gonna read any of these or are there some on, my, on your radar that I should know about? Um, please leave some comments below if any of those, uh, any of those if you have answers to any of those questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll look forward to talking to you later. Bye.